going to benefit the department, it's going to benefit the citizens of Richland, uh, uh, especially uh, when somebody has a cardiac arrest and their heart stops beating. This is a device we can put on them to automatically do chest compressions and uh, it doesn't get tired. It'll keep doing chest compressions at a rate of 100 beats per minute uh, for basically indefinitely and it, it, it delivers a higher quality of chest compressions and that's what the American Heart Association suggests now and so we feel that it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be a better device uh, than just manual CPR. Well, once the device is placed on the patient, it'll keep doing chest compressions no matter where you are or what environment you're in. So like say, if you're, let's say you're in an upstairs bedroom in a home, where you wanted to start CPR and you use this machine, uh, it's very difficult to uh, do uh, chest compressions when you're going downstairs, especially if there's a lot of them. Okay, I'll stop so we can get out the door. All right, get back on the chest. With this device, it enables us to do that. Uh, we're in, when we're in the back of an ambulance, uh, in transporting a patient to, to the hospital, uh, going around corners, stopping and going, Believe it or not, it's very difficult to, to, to keep CPR, to keep chest compressions going. This device, it doesn't matter, and it also frees up an individual to do other things for the paramedic, to do other things for the patient. So it's, it's going to be a very good device, and I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for us and the citizens of Richland.